Hi everyone, I'm Leon thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Tuesday, November 13th. President Obama's military and intelligence staff has been thrown into even greater disarray. A second high-ranking military official has been implicated in the affair that brought down CIA Director David Petraeus. The FBI investigation into that affair turned up evidence that the top U.S. commander in Afghanistan, General John Allen, was exchanging emails with a Florida woman that have been described as potentially inappropriate. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta released a statement saying he ordered an investigation. Allen was nominated last month to become Supreme Allied Commander in Europe. Panetta said he asked the Senate to place that nomination on hold until the investigation is complete. With Congress set to reconvene this week, behind-the-scenes negotiations are going on to address the fiscal cliff of tax increases and automatic budget cuts. A proposal to increase the revenue contribution by high-income earners appears to be gaining some traction, say insiders. Instead of raising tax rates on the rich, the plan would simply put a hard cap on the amount of tax deductions they could claim. In fact, that plan was one initially proposed by Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney. And he might not be ready to return to Washington yet, but Democratic Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr. has left the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Jackson has been under treatment there for bipolar disorder. There are also reports that the Chicago area representatives hired a lawyer for negotiations with the government on a deal to settle charges that he misused campaign funds. Jackson has been out of the public eye for months, but easily won re-election last week. Media reports in Chicago indicate a plea deal on the federal charges would include his resignation from Congress. That's your political news roundup for Tuesday, November 13th. I'm Leon thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTNews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news all day long.